Hey, it's Geeky here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime Deluxe Vehicon. And here he is, he is a black sports car, or Gothic Origins, or Gotham Origins, more like. Um, Paint-wise, he isn't very, hasn't got much silver wheels. Some purple highlights here at the front, which you can't see. Purple highlights at the front, and underneath the clear parts here on the, on the front lights. A nice Decepticon symbol at the front and some purple striping at the back and that's about it for the paint on the in the vehicle mode it's not very detailed it it's a bit of an awkward figure especially the film because it's not really some of the details aren't really showing up there's a nice like, jagged stripe here on the front on the side of the door which if it was painted like a gunmetal grey or something like that it would stand out really nicely but it mm, as nice as the as nice as the vehicle mode is, it is very dark. It's very plain. It's its strength line is robot mode basically. It comes with a weapon. It's also unpainted. It can plug into either of the ports on the side here. It looks better on the, in this one because uh, as hollow as the weapon is, it's that bad. So I just stick it in that one. Okay, to convert them into robot mode, first thing you want to do is pop these parts, the rear wheels out, because they form the arms, just pop those out for the moment, then completely fold over the roof of the car, carefully split the, the it down the middle, the roof is clear plastic and they have a tendency to break, which can be a bit annoying, now I love the way these, the, the roof folds off, you just fold, fold, Fold. And that's it, you just fold out the top part and that's a complete leg. The same on this side, just fold it up, pop up the toe and plug it in. Now you can leave these wheel parts as they are but they can tilt and lock into that place, that position, which looks a little bit better. Always like that. Uh, head reveals like an automobile gimmick like that and just unpick the arms fold them out fold out the hand do so again on this side here he is in robot mode he's actually he's more colourful in this mode there's more purple showing up along with some extra silver on the chest here on the head um He's quite a nifty little figure, he's quite well articulated, heads on a ball joint, you can look up and down side to side, ball jointed shoulder, there's a bicep swivel, an unusual elbow joint hinge here, that's for the translation, then he's got a ball jointed elbow with tons of movement, and a hinge for a hand, a hinge for a wrist. If he had a waist joint, this figure would be perfect, because then he could pose, he can shoot, like like a James Bond style pose but he doesn't and it's not it's still not a bad figure but a waist joint would have been really nice hips are on a ball joint with a swivel knee the bend on it isn't brilliant it would have been better if it could go back a little bit further but it, it can't and he's got extremely long toes which can also move up and down that's probably transformation the gun uh, can plug in several different ways. You can hold it as a gun, or if you t fold his wrist away, you can use the little clip here where my gun there is, and just <sighs> jimmy onto his arm so it looks like it's popped out from his arm, like so. It would have been nice if the gun had more details on it. And I've already said it, but it would have been nice if it had details on it if it was at least partly painted. Just instead of looking like a lump of grey or lump of black plastic. Now, should you get this guy? Um, to be honest, yes, you should. He's a very good figure. I'd say get more than one. See, because he's like a generic troop, there's, there's more scope for customization. I would have liked to see him re released in the Beast Hunters section of the Transformers Prime toy line main. He could have just left, like, released him that, but with like sticker sheets so you could customize him. 
like you know various jungle decos like tiger skin or lion skin or leopard skin zebra skin so he could fit more into the beast hunters toy line but as he is he's a very good figure and he's worth picking up okay i've been geeky delicious and if you liked what you've seen don't forget to like comment or subscribe and you can also join me on my new facebook group autobot city uk thank you very much